Hey, boys and girls, we are on chapter eight, lesson five, problem solving. Now, I'm only doing three problems in this one because there aren't that many problems on the page, right? So I'm only doing three. I think one from the front, one from the back, and a review. All right, let's take a look here. When Nathan's mother drives him to school, it takes one fifth hour. When Nathan walks to school, it takes him four times as long to get to school. How long does it take Nathan to walk to school? Okay, let's see here. When Nathan's mother drives him, it takes one fifth of an hour. But when he walks, it takes him four times as long to get there. So it takes him four times as long as one fifth. Right, guys? Takes him four times as much as the time it takes his mother to drive him. So what's four times one fifth? Well, four times one is four. Denominator five. It takes Nathan four fifths hour or of an hour. Okay. Well, that was very pleasant, wasn't it? Let's see what's on the back. All right. This is number two on the back. The walking distance from the Empire State Building in New York City to Times Square is about nine tenths mile. The walking distance from the Empire State Building to Sue's Hotel is about eight times as far. About how far is Sue's Hotel from the Empire State Building? Well, those are famous places in New York, right? And sometimes it's easier to walk places in New York. Okay, so to get from the Empire State Building to Times Square, it's nine tenths of a mile. And from the Empire State Building to the hotel is eight times as far. Okay, so eight times nine tenths. Okay, because that nine tenths, we have to multiply it by eight because that's how much longer it is to get to her hotel. All right, let's see here. It's not a mixed number, so we can just multiply eight times nine, right? What's eight times nine? Yes, you know those, right? Okay, 72. Keep that denominator, 72 tenths. Now let's look at our choices. I don't see 72 tenths. So they have changed 72 tenths, which is a fraction greater than one, to a mixed number. So how do you want to do that, boys and girls? You want to do multiples or division? Let's do multiples. Because for every set of 10, that's going to be one whole mile. All right, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Can we go to 80? No, nope, we can't. So for every set of 10, that's one whole. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so that's 7 whole miles. 70, 71, 72, right? We can't forget those guys. And two tenths. Now, you could have done the division. 10 divided by 72. Right, guys? 10, uh, so first is divide. Is that right? 7, right? 7 times 10 is 70. Subtract. Use the denominator, I mean the remainder as the numerator, seven and two tenths. All right, so there's seven and two tenths is choice D. That's a long walk, seven and two tenths. Do you think she's gonna walk to her hotel? That's gonna take her a while. All right, you guys, excellent work. I'm really proud of you.